Most non-linear editing systems support multi-format timelines, which means you can basically use videos of various codecs, resolution, frame rates, all in the same timeline, and then encode the file as one together. However, sometimes to make your workflow more efficient, and the re speed up the rendering times, it's useful to have all your files, or as many as possible, the same video format. And obviously there may be other reasons for encoding masses of footage, but this is basically going to cover how to do a batch render of lots of files into the same video codec. In this example, uh, we're using Compressor, and the idea is that we're going to take a codec such as the DVC Pro HD 720p 24 frames a second. If we just click on it, you can see in this inspector panel, it's going to give us some basic overview information. We can see that it's not quite full, it's not quite 1280 by 720, um, it's 960 by 720 with an aspect ratio, which is nice. It will keep the file size down a little bit. 24 frames a second, which is a nice film rate, going to give us a nice filmic flow to the uh, to the video. And what we want to do is basically to start off with is import all our footage. So we're going to press add file here and you can see that in this folder we've got lots of files. You can see I've got some that have already been encoded into this DVC Pro codec um, but we want to take all the ones that haven't been. I'm just going to take a, an ex, um, a bunch. We're going to go down to here instead of uh, try and load all of them there. That will just give us an example but the bottom line is you can select as many as you want and just go ahead and press open and straight away these have all been loaded into the um, compressor window. You can see the list of all the um, jobs that we want to get done. And now that they're, you can see they're all selected by default, which is brilliant because we don't have to select them all manually or command A, whatever you want to do. We can just grab this DVC Pro HD codec and drag it onto one of them. And you can see that it's actually going to apply the uh, codec to all of them which is just what we want. Now in Compressor you can actually alter the destination but at the moment they are set to render or export to the actual source folder which is fine for what we want. As you can see the text is red because I already have a file called that in that directory but for now we just want, we're just we just focused on setting up a batch render. Now all you have to do, once you've done all these settings and it's all ready, all these clips, you can have, import some more files and then select them and obviously add the um, codec. We just want to go ahead and press submit. Obviously it's going to moan at me a little bit um, because I have these files, but just press submit. What you might want to do, what you want to do, what you want to do before you submit is file uh, save as and that's going to save all the settings so all the source files their locations and everything so you can literally load up the project if there's a problem if compressor crashes you can load up exactly where you were last time and try have another go i hope this was helpful I hope you now know how to batch render um, lots of files inside compressor so uh, get rendering let me know what you think of the tutorial uh, remember to subscribe and these video files are in fact from my most recent short film which you can check out at my website uh, danallenfilms.com